yeah, let me show you what is going on here and you'll, for all of you season tax, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Let me hop up here. You ready for this? Yeah. We have a bad secondary heat exchanger on LP. Switch or blocked kind of say black switch. That one. And those right there. Let's see why. Leave it, leave it on, leave it on. No, it turned it off. Oh, did you? Yeah. I'll we'll turn it back on. The light reset. Nope, still flashing on it. Shut the switch off on the side. Let me flip it back on. Things are getting mess, so now it's got to re circulate. Corrosion down there. Some corrosion. Grab that switcher because it just popped that off. Oh. Oh, another heat exchanger. You might sell them in the furnace. You might. Yeah. I need a new AC too. Mm -hmm. This one has AC? Yeah, old one. So this is a job for uh, Armstrong. Yep. So go ahead and take the jumpers. I need a jumper uh, R and W1. W1.
may be putting a new furnace in, I don't know. Or we may be replacing the heat exchanger. Dad. This just, the heat exchangers, man, are just ridiculous. Thanks, JCI. I really appreciate you keeping me busy. I got enough work. All right, if you guys got any value of this content, we'll smash that thumbs up and we'll be, we'll be back. Welcome back. Saturday morning. It's a balmy 53 degrees on, uh, we're a Saturday, December 9th. It's literally 53 degrees out in Michigan. Crazy weather. Let's show you what we're doing today. Morning, Tyler. Good morning. So, we're back on this job. I installed this January of 2010. And this is a pile of York. Or Lux Air, pile of JCI. Um, I will show you what's going on outside, but it smells, you know, that Navarro song smells like Teen Spirit. This smells like Carrier. <laughs> so, and we're going to be replacing it with a trusty Armstrong Air Pro Series. But yeah, let me show you what is going on here, and you'll. For all of you season tax, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Let me hop up here. You ready for this? Yeah. We have a bad secondary heat exchanger on LP. So that's whoa I fell down almost blooper so yeah that's uh that's what's going on we're gonna be replacing this furnace out this morning and we'll be giving you some shots throughout the process smash that thumbs up button if you haven't done it already and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe that would really help the channel grow and I appreciate appreciate every all of my subscribers I appreciate every one of you
at the furnace site where he's out building metal. Uh, we're gonna work on the vents. I gotta convert this over. And then we're gonna do, do the gas, do some counter strike around. And also, I, you've seen some of my other videos where I've used this box. This box, when I, every, anytime I come across this space guard filter, I always use these boxes because I can pull from the bottom and up here, which makes better return, better airflow. Um, it's always a good thing when you can use, utilize this, these boxes. Uh, so it's good stuff, I like them. Converting this over. Orifices out. This is a LP kit 11K48 for the two stage allied furnaces. So these are pretty simple, you just gotta take the old one and the natural gas ones out. Now I'm going to convert the springs and I'm going to convert the springs on here. So I basically take these off, put the LP springs in and uh, pretty simple. This comes with a pressure control. So if we lose, get low and they run out of propane, this ties to the gas valve and then shuts everything off. It comes with uh, two springs. So you can see the difference. I can show you. So the white one is the propane and the silver one is natural gas. The propane's bigger and it's a heavier spring for LP. So basically you put one in there, one in there, and then you put these little caps back on. This is a two-stage gas valve, of course. So we got a low and high fire. This is the low setting. On the LP, we should be about four inches of water column. And on high, we should be about 10 when that time comes, and I'll show you how to do that. Obviously, if you're not comfortable doing this, hire a professional because dealing with any kind of gas is dangerous if you don't know what's going on. Okay, I'll leave those off for now because I'll have to adjust them later. So this is a, like a three inch nipple that they drill out and you put dope this up and you put that right inside there.
So here I have uh, two female connectors and then a male and a female. So basically just want to tie one on. But inside here, normally open, normally closed, just a switch. So then this one bottom of this valve there and then this one gets tied in to here just like that it is converted so now Tyler's finishing the electrical up I'm gonna work on the gas and then work on the vents drain and Corey's build metal and we should be out of here pretty quick So that secondary is pretty much like what's been going on on those other ones. This pan here is all rotten. And uh, this, this secondary heat exchanger down there is all filled up with crap. You can see where it's been leaking right in that corner. Pretty nasty stuff, man. It, especially LP, that's really corrosive. LP is dirty, burning gas versus natural. But this thing has ran its course for sure. This one here is a, uh, you can read that, it's a TM9T080. For all of you that have that one, keep an eye out for the failed heat exchangers. You're here I'm adjusting gas pressures. I'm going to be around four inches of water column, being it's on low fire. All right, I like it right there. There it is. All set, converted it over, running LP. We had a little bit of purple Barney incident. It is what it is. So that turned out nice. Turned out nice. Alright, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. And we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.